Is Shake Shack better than Five Guys according to these three guys? Three guys. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And please welcome my dad, Charles. Give us one of these, Dad. There it is. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? Oh, Welcome we're, to, we're great. We're You're good, here. Dad. You, you feeling good? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, if I'm around you two, you got to feel good. Oh, hey. hey. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you notice the resemblance? No, I, 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 I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't see it <laughs> at all. Well, maybe uh, if we look, look, let them look and say, maybe it's me. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we're not really. Um, okay, so are you hungry? Oh, yeah, I'm always hungry. Okay, good. Me too. Well, are you maybe a good, you are related. Are you a good uh, burger judger? Yes, I I think I could be a good burger judge. Ju- judger. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Why, hold on. What are you doing to these burgers? <laughs> 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 All right, well, th- this is going to be quite a matchup. You got to help us figure this out because this is Shake Shack, which beat In and Out the last time we did this, going up against Five Guys. You ready? Yeah. All right, it's time for Food Feuds Five Guys versus Shake Shack. <laughs> Gentlemen, in each round, you're going to taste similar foods from Five Guys and Shake Shack. You'll individually give each item a rating from 1 to 10. The restaurant with the most points at the end will be the winner and receives the chance to sponsor a future GMM episode. And first up, we've got cheeseburgers. On Rhett's side is Five Guys Cheeseburger for eleven seventy nine, and on Link's is Shake Shack's Shack Burger for seven oh nine. Yeah, so Link, yes. the one on top is going to be yours because it has no tomatoes. Now, Charles, okay, you don't eat tomatoes? Yeah, tell me about it. What's going on with him? What's you wrong with him? You don't watch this show? <laughs> hey, listen. Why do, what's wrong with him? And I just put up all these tomatoes at home and he still don't eat them. Well, I mean, sell it. What's so great about a good mater, Dad? Oh, well, back home, a good mater sandwich with Duke's mayonnaise is the bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on some white bread? Mm. Mm. That's a good burger. Five Guys is great. Now, their buns don't connect in the back like a Shake Shack. I'm fine with that. Dad, Dad, look, Dad is about like you. He, you, you both ate half the burger. Yeah, right? yeah, because we're eating. Just pace yourself, Dad. I don't, I don't want well, you to. You got to get a good taste. To, yeah. To what, are you, what are you judging it off of? You don't even <laughs> have a tomato on there. <laughs> I see what's happening here. That's right. <laughs> This yeah. was this, Five Guys is a great burger, and it's highly customizable. They don't let you oh, make choices yeah. at other places? Mm-hmm. That one's got the mater. <laughs> <laughs> so this actually has one patty on it, but I don't know. I like the look of the bun and the feel of the bun a little See, bit better. The bun has a hinge. Not that that matters, but I just want to continue to point that out. Well, you know, it's going to have to go because Five Guys had sesame seed buns on them, so you got to... And that gives us points for you? Oh, yeah. The bun is unprecedentedly soft. Man, I thought this was going to be easy, but... It's not. The meat is the same. Crap. This is so freaking tough. I like the bun on Shake Shack better, but I actually, for reasons that I didn't anticipate or I currently can't understand, I like the meat a little bit better on this. I 100% agree with that experience. I'm giving them both an eight. Well, I'm going to give five guys a seven and Shake Shack an eight. All right. I'm going to give a five guys a 10. (laughs) And then I'm going to come over here to Shake Shack and I'm going to give it a 10. (laughs) I just just think they are both beautifully crafted fast food burgers. Untoppable. Name a fast food burger you've had better than either one of these from another fast food joint. Mm. See? Not yeah. anywhere, probably. See? Mm-hmm. They are as about as good. I mean, I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't know what that does, but, it would, it, you know, add it up. <laughs> Next up on Rhett's side, we have Five Guys Hot Dog for eight thirty nine, and on Lynx, Shake Shack's Hot Dog for four thirty nine. And I will point out that when you order Shake Shack's Hot Dog online, you could only add cheese sauce. So that's why the toppings are are different on each each dog. Okay. Oh, Dad's already gone in. Mm-hmm. Dad, I know how much you love a hot dog because you mm-hmm. said that was one of your favorite things in that other episode. Mm-hmm. Um, 
It's a split dog at Five Guys. Mm -hmm. That's a good hot dog. Mm -hmm. You know why they call it Five Guys? Mm -mm. Because originally, when Janie and Jerry Merle, or Morell started it, they had uh, four sons. And so they said Jerry and his sons, Jim, Matt, Chad, and Ben, were the five guys. And then, two years later, they had a fifth son, Tyler. And then instead of calling it six guys, they were just like, I guess the sons are the five guys. Oh, okay. So they're just five sons. And they're all currently still involved in the in the business with over 1,700 locations. You know why they call it Shake Shack? Because it was started as a hot dog cart inside oh. Madison Square Park in 2001 by restaurateur Danny Meyer. A guy named Meyer started a hot dog thing? And oh. didn't even see the irony in it? Believe it or not. You think he's related? So we didn't add the cheese sauce here. Um, hmm. Is the hot dog the hot dog is split here too? Man, they're actually pretty different experiences here. Mm-hmm. The dog itself is more of a red dog. It's got a little bit more of a pop to it. And then let me get a little bit of this dog. The Shake Shack. Which one are you liking more, Dad? What's your What's your first <clears throat> first experience telling the, you? I, I'm liking the Five Guys hot dog better. It's a darker dog. This is such a hard decision. They're I didn't expect both of them to be so good. I'm gonna have just to isolate just Wiener. That's what I've done. When I do that, the less poppy, browner Five Guys dog is a superior taste, in my opinion. Well, and I'm not as much of a dog guy as you, so. When I isolate the dog, I like Shake Shack a little bit better. I think it's a better Wiener. Okay, all right. This just comes down to who has the better Wiener. Yep, yep, yep. I'm, yeah. I'm giving uh, five guys. I think it's, I think it's a great dog. I'm giving it an eight. What are you gonna give it? I'm gonna give five guys a nine. Oh, you loved it. Yeah, I liked it. I'm gonna go seven. Okay. I just you know hot dogs don't wow me. And it's fine. And it, don't, and it, you don't, don't it have didn't to apologize. Wow me. It. Mm. He doesn't like tomatoes. He doesn't like hot dogs. You sure mm. he's your son? Mm. Mm. Yeah, he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just in case you're wondering. More, more, more hot dogs and maters for yeah. you, Dad. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving the uh, Shake Shack a nine. I think that this was uh, an exquisite hot dog. I'm going to give it a five. They're very limited in what you can put on it. Cheese, I mean, and maybe some ketchup? It was all right, but I'm going to give the Shake Shack a six. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so you're alone in thinking it's a little bit better. Okay, wow. All right, that was a good round for five guys. We love to taste things. You know who loves to taste things even more than us? The team over at sport.com. Mm -hmm. And they've created a destination for the best burger topping. So go over to sport.com, find out how to build the better burger. All the best buns, the best toppings, frozen patties, all in one place, sport.com. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's time for fries. On Rut side, we have the Five Guys regular fries for six fifty nine, and on Lynx is Shake Shacks for four oh nine. Me and you. Okay, the, this is a this is a wonderful French fry. What are they doing over there, Dad? Can you decipher how they're? Do mm. you think they're taking a potato and cutting it lengthwise? Or oh, they're taking a real potato and making french fries with them is what they do. They have a bunch of potato bags in their store, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Stack I thought those them. were peanut bags. No. They got them too. But yeah. they really are trying to sell the idea that, hey, we're making these very fresh. A lot of skin. They're not just making them fresh. They're then seasoning them properly yeah. and frying them properly, which is something that we I can't, can't say easy. about like in and out as an example. You know, we talk about how they just their fries fall short. These, these fries. But- Look at the the brownness of some of these is kind of scary. It's like what it to who? What? Okay. Well, they what? Get, it just it probably got cooked twice. Yeah, why is he scared of things? Let me know this. He's scared of tomatoes, hot dogs, and brown fries. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? I will say though, eat a brown fry and tell me what you think of it. It's great. I like it. It's got a little bit of a little burnt flavor to it. Crunchy. Still good. The brown fries are just as good as the other ones. I, I'm not afraid of it anymore. Okay. I've conquered my fear, Dad. This these, is also a good fry. These crinkle fries are, they got a manufactured vibe to them. Are they bad? They're not bad. No, they ain't bad. But they're not good. I got to go back here. Good gosh. I either didn't know or forgot how good Five Guys fries are. 
I'm sorry guys, this is a perfect fry. 10. You going for a 10? I don't think you can make a better French fry than a Five Guys fry. I'll give it a nine, unapologetically. I mean, what could you do better? I don't know, uh, I don't know. Maybe put some truffle oil on it? Them fries from Five Guys is some kind of good, so I'm, I'm going with red, I'm gonna give them a 10. Whoa! What, what, we're throwing tens out like it's somebody's birthday today. <laughs> what about over here? Cause this is, this is still a re really legitimately great fry. Slight demerit for crinkle cut, but it's still a good eight. I'm, I, it's still a solid fry. But I mean, how hard would it be? It's kind of like cooking eggs. How hard is it to screw up an egg? How hard is it to screw up, screw up a French That's fry? That's true. That's exactly. Uh, There's not so much I, magic happening yeah, here. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to go with an eight on them too for the, Shake, shack. What up? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, I thought you were gonna go lower no, after listen, how you were on, building hey, it up. We're on the same page over here. <laughs> I have found myself going to Shake Shack, looking forward to the burger, and just deciding to not even order the fries. Ouch. <laughs> and this has supported that. I, I'm, I'm gonna give them a five. Ooh. And I don't even care. They're just, they, they're, they're forgettable. <laughs> they are totally forgettable. Go nice. home. We interrupt this episode of GMM to let you know that there is a new video dropping on the Rhett and Link channel this weekend. This video is me trying to usher you into the realm of nap. I don't like this. I don't like this. Does oh my God! <laughs> when I first started napping, it was so realistic I had a wet dream. Oh, okay. Come with me to the realm of nap. Where life is better. I just want to take a decent nap, but I can't fall asleep at work. And last up, of course, it's dessert. We've got vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry milkshakes from each place. On Rhett's side, Five Guys shakes come in at six fifty nine each, and on Link's, Shake Shacks are five ninety nine each. Okay, so once again, Five Guys more expensive. Yeah, they've been expensive, said more expensive across the board. <laughs> How are we gonna uh, do I'll, this? I'll be red straw. Give me, give me. Uh, well, I'm gonna, we don't have to do it at the same time, I mean. Yeah, we do. You be green straw, I'll be orange straw. <laughs> Go, Dad. <laughs> now look at each other while we're doing it. <laughs> you guys can have that. That was a father-son moment that you weren't invited to. Actually, mm -hmm. you weren't invited. Did you taste it or were Is you that, just that were you lost in each other's eyes? Yeah, I was just locked up. It's you. a good, it's a good shake, but I never yeah. get just a vanilla shake. Yeah, me let's go neither. chocolate. <laughs> it's solid. I don't feel like I'm making a phone call yet or anything. You know, no calling a friend, mm -hmm. telling him to meet me there. That one's got bits of strawberry. I think these are all vanilla based from Five mm. Guys, even the chocolate. So what's the difference with the... the um, uh, well, they're custard over here, not just ice cream. Up. And the uh, chocolate is made from a chocolate custard, vanilla from a vanilla, and then the strawberry from a vanilla and custard. And the name of the restaurant is Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Shack. They're it, leading with the shake. It better be better. Uh, you guys want to stay consistent? Yeah, let's stay. Um, <laughs> you don't care, Dad? Mm -mm. Dad'll eat after anybody, won't you? Ooh, that's, it's eggier. I mean, you can taste that it's custard. It's less vanilla, though. Yeah, I it didn't. It's thicker because of the custard. Let's go to. You can tell tough. that's more of a. What? Tell that's more, got more vanilla it in it. It definitely has more vanilla, which yeah. is, I mean, the name of the shake. <clears throat> I, 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 I'm, I'm red straw guy. Okay? Don't, don't. Well, I'm orange straw guy. Okay. And I'm in the middle. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That's got like a chocolate syrup taste to it. No, that's not chocolate syrup. This is the chocolate syrup. I know, but it tastes like a Hershey's chocolate syrup is what it tastes like. Oh, it tastes good, man. The thickness, the custardy. I like my guys better. It's, it's more of like a... I don't know. It just tastes cheaper. But it's it more, tastes cheaper? Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna pay a dollar more over here. All right, fine, we can disagree. <laughs> Here we go again. Go green. <laughs> Is it my glasses that are poking you in the eye? Hey, let's go back to strawberry. All three on the Five Guys side are better than the Shake Shack. I'm sorry. 
I didn't think this was gonna happen. The five guys. That strawberry's incredible. <laughs> the they're, strawberry they're, they're, is absolutely better over here at Five Guys. It's the it's the biggest difference between the two, but I just happen to like all three of them better. If we're judging all three together, <sighs> I like the Five Guys better. Well, give them your score. Okay, I'm going uh, Five Guys shakes. Uh, boy, those are great. Nine. I'm giving them a nine too. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. I'm gonna give them a seven, and then over here. I mean, the strawberry is definitely better over there. I'm gonna give this one an eight in spite of the strawberry deficiency. I'm going uh, seven on on Shake Shack. I thought it was it was solid. Mm, I'm I'm going six on the Shake Shack because I didn't think they hit the mark. Oh, wow. Dad, do you feel the weight of what you're doing here? We no, we are we are no. just we are changing lives with I'm, these scores. I, I'm a lot older than y'all, and I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> I mean, well, they gonna come to South Carolina and find me? They ain't even, they ain't even Shake Shack there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the results. Okay, so there you have it. In the end, Five Guys actually wins by a wide margin, one hundred three to eighty eight. I thought this would be closer. I thought I the Shake Shack was gonna take this home. I know. Now you know what. I'm I'm a Five Guys guy, and I didn't realize it. All right, five guys, uh, all five of you, whichever one needs to hear this. Um, Jim, Matt, Chad, Ben, and Tyler. Okay? Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Do you hear us? Just sponsor a freaking episode of Good Mythical Morning. How hard is it to do? We're going to throw in dispatches from Myrtle Beach as a bonus. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yes! Come on, guys, get with the program. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that reminds me. Make sure to listen to Dad's podcast with me, Dispatches from Myrtle Beach. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now, Charles, you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kenny and Joanne here. We're vacationing in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And we're looking for Link's dad. Hey, Charles. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm honky. Hi. We'll keep looking, but for now, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. mythicality. <laughs> 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 it, it, we, yeah, he's here. He, he can't be there. He's here. He can't be in two places at once. That was the best mythical wheel video we've ever had. Yeah. Whatever we call that thing. <laughs> Click the top link to see if we can make better restaurant slogans than AI in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Head on over to Sporked.com to build a better burger. They created a destination where you can find all their burger-related rankings in one place.